Joe Biden don't fully turn down for the seat as the 46th president of the United States of America. My current person there, I welcome you to DJM TV Daily News Update. What will they give you the gist as it they happen all around the world, within Nigeria, even for our local states then? The matter what will carry come today, now the very sharp story where they break now, as uh, the 45th president of the United States of America, to officially hand over to the 46th president of America will be Joe Biden. And we'll not forget, say four years ago, Donald Trump will be the 45th president. They inaugurate him uh, into the office as of the president of the United States of America. And uh, for the same way to Indoor and over give uh, the new president of the United States of America, where they call Joe Biden, uh, for the ceremony, whether they call inauguration for the uh, for for the capital for Washington D.C. And for the way they did the handover presidency for United States of America, the former uh, president or the outgoing president go drop notes or later if he wants uh, for the incoming president, uh, George Washington, I first start this tradition of America. And then he and the family, they go come up for the White House. They go enter the Marine One helicopter, go here. They go take give their final address to the nation as the outgoing uh, president. And all these things they must do uh, before 12 uh, noon day. Because at that 12 noon day, now they will look and say they are 10 or not officially expired. And by that time, now they will swear in the new uh, president of the United States of America. Uh, but before they go do all this one, so they go check some kind of things. If uh, the, the day of inauguration falls on top of Sunday, they go do it on the low key. They don't go to gather crowd. Uh, like for some years, it did all four. Like for 1937, and it did four for Sunday. Mm -hmm. And so, if it fall for Sunday, they go do it on the low key. Then, the following day, will be Monday. They call gather people. They call do it again for public, for everybody to uh, uh, witness. Uh, but President Donald Trump, um, he will not fall for Sunday last time. You don't see for for weekdays, so they don't have the gather crowd. And but for America, before they, they swear in the president, they go first swear in the vice president first. Now the vice president had the first take oath of a office. Then after that, the president himself will call take oath of office. And the only requirement for that oath of office now for and for them to just recite and uh, I they will call their name, do so let me swear and uh, say I go faithfully execute my work as the president of the United States to the best of my ability, I go preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the United States. Once they do that work, why come they don't become president and vice president as the case may be? See one reminder, not us, we'll not forget, say uh, Kamala Harris, now be the first woman vice president of the United States of America. Not just the first woman vice president, but I should be the first woman of color, as they call her. That's a person will be partially American, a partially a mama, na, a mama na from India. Uh -huh. The woman come uh, America where she did 19 years. But now for America, she take born uh, Kamala Harris then. Uh -huh. So she be part India, she be part uh, America. And then uh, the first black American uh, judge for the Supreme Court, I swear in as the vice president of the All United about States to be of part America. of America no, sure is a historic of moment of first to administer the oath to our first African American, our first Asian American, and our first woman vice president, Kamala Harris. It is my great privilege to welcome to the inaugural stage the first Latina to ever serve on the Supreme Court of the United States of America, Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the oath of office, followed by musical honors.
please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Kamala Davy Harris, do solemnly swear. I, Kamala Davy Harris, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion that I will well and faithfully discharge that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter so help me God so help me God distinct honor to introduce the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, John Roberts, to administer the presidential oath to the next President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the oath of office, followed by musical honors. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability. Will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. They invite many people to come. We go call Grace the occasion to do one or two things. Among them, they be the 22 year old Amanda Gorman, who will be the youngest ever inaugural poet for the United States of America. Now, she recites the five minute poem. And for that poem, she tells Shalene, she starts to school, cut her say, What just is, isn't always justice. She referred to a witty apple for January 6th for America. She said that, that one, I give her inspiration to take even finish her poetry. Which she won't deliver for the inauguration. Aside that, I still get other people who still perform uh, for the inauguration. Uh, Lady Gaga and I recite the National Anthem of America. Uh, Jennifer Lopez still perform. And many other people there, when they call, come, we go call do one or two things for the inauguration. We go remember to say, uh, Mr. Biden, he win uh, Donald Trump for the election. Although Donald Trump be say she in her grill, 
say they, they do uh, kata kata for the election. And just uh, some few days ago, so kind of things they call happen for the capital for United States of America. We can make the security level for the inauguration. They very, very, very tight ahead of the inauguration. And some of the things that when uh, okay, Joe Biden talk for the uh, inauguration as part of his first speech, now he just say uh, the inauguration day, now be American day, now be democracy, he call it a day of uh, history and hope. He just say, uh, we go learn again, say democracy, they precious. Say, although the democracy of America, they fragile. And at this time, say, uh, American people don't win for their democracy. He said, although now the ground they shallow, say, but within the just first few days or the things will don't happen, say, but in all means, say, the American people, they will come together as one nation under God, indivisible, to carry out a peaceful transfer of, of power, as we don't they do for more than two centuries. Uh, a vice president, where they call Kamala Harris, she could dedicate her own uh, inauguration to her mama, where to say, uh, and she could to say, uh, for some years ago now, uh, protests have tried to block brave women where they march for their right to vote. Say, but today, see now, now woman of color, now be the vice president of the United States of America. And uh, President Muhammad Buhari, don't congratulate the new United States of America president and vice president Joe Biden and Senator Kamala Harris as they take their oath of office. Uh, Ogabubu for one statement when he issued by senior special assistant on media and publicity, Gaba Sheo, for Abuja, he expressed hope say their presidency will mark a strong point of cooperation and support for Nigeria as well as the African continent. The president congratulated the leaders and the entire country of the United States of America for their successful transfer of power. We mark, uh, we mark important historic. Uh, point for democracy as a, a system of government and for the global uh, community as a whole. He said, we look forward to the bidding presidency with great hope and optimism for the strengthening of existing cordial relationship, working together to tackle global terrorism, climate change, poverty, and improve economic ties and expansion of trade. So we hope that this will be an era of great positivity between our two nations as we jointly address issues of mutual interest. In say the whole of Nigeria and the presidency, they rejoice with Joe Biden and they, uh, they, they share the proud feeling with the first woman elected vice president of the United States of America, where get both Africa and Asian ancestry. And we'll remember, say so far, Joe Biden don't appoint three Nigerians into uh, the White House team. There be Adewale Adeyomi as the Deputy Treasury Secretary, Fumi Badejo as one of the legal advisor, and Osareme Okolo as a COVID-19 policy advisor to the president. And we say a very big congratulations to uh, the newly inaugurated president and the vice president of the United States of America. Uh, we, as well as uh, the way Americans, they hope, would they hope say uh, things go better for the country as they don't enter power. Well, this nasty DJM TV daily news update. Here we'll give on a sharp story. But may you not forget to like and to share this video. If you never subscribe to our YouTube channel, I beg hit on the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, and then uh, not forget to follow us for all our social media platform. We are going to drop news. And even now for our website, may you not forget say me where they read the news. I'll be your girl and your sister. La will favor. DJ TV. DJ TV. People are people. Don't say no. They don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. 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 DJ and TV. Some of the delegates Jump and ask the their questions. DJ and TV. DJ and TV. DJ and TV.
Okay.